Zdravstvut, dobrodošli and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another glorious day lies ahead of our glorious nation as we continue to make progress towards a glorious future. Folks, there is as always a lot to get done today, so I will not bore you with a prolonged introduction. Just want to mention as always, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in letting me know what y'all would like to see on the channel, and it also directly informs what I do when I go about doing the things that I do on the channel. With that said, let's get this party started, shall we? Now, actually, it just occurred to me as I brought the UI up that this is the first episode of a new month. I cannot believe it is already December of 2021, folks, so bear with me as I do my once a month sort of note, I suppose, that if you've been really, really, really enjoying this series, then I humbly request that you maybe consider checking out my Patreon. It'll be linked in the description down below, and if third-party services like Patreon aren't for you, then maybe you consider becoming a channel member instead by clicking the join button down below, or of course there is the other link that's in the description down below as well. Again, it is never an obligation, that's why I try not to mention it too often. I've been told to mention it more often, but I, I try to keep it to a minimum. It is greatly appreciated and it does make a very big difference, especially for these long-running series in keeping them and the channel as a whole sustainable and viable and possible. So just something to consider. No pressure, of course, but uh, think of it like a Netflix subscription or like a Twitch subscription or what have you, where you know if you're enjoying the content, obviously it'll always be available for free, unlike Netflix and all that, but uh, it's a way to support Support, I suppose the channel and, and make sure it all keeps going uh, but yeah I try to keep them short as far as notices are concerned because again no obligation no pressure but it is greatly appreciated which is why again I, I you know I yeah <laughs> I get really and again it's one of those things that I I, I, uh, I get really I guess awkward about uh, mentioning too much but let's move on from that and, and focus on our, uh, our, our tasks today. There are quite a few, and there's some comments that I would like to address as well. Right off the bat, um, I hear y'all loud and clear. We will not be uh, adding uh, you know on and off ramps over here. I do concur with the general sort of vibe and, and consensus I was getting from the comments that it'll just be a lot of busy work. I don't think it'll make that much of a difference either. And truth be told, I don't know if it'll even fit. Uh, I don't think we have enough room over here to make an on and off ramp. And I think it'll just be too much busy work and I don't think it'll be the most uh, interesting uh, execution either, truth be told. I do think that our, as I was saying last session, I do think that our existing uh, on and off ramps are, are, are definitely close enough. We have this road over here as well that many of you pointed out we could definitely use to like hook up over here. We can, I mean, this actually lines up quite nicely. Now that I look at it, this actually lines up quite, actually, hold on. Oh wow, that lines up very nicely. This road, if we just pull this road straight out, it actually pretty much hooks up right down over here just below this road. So if we make this into a double, like two one ways, uh, it would actually transition quite nicely to uh, uh, Krasna and stuff, which uh, is maybe something I'll consider, but I was actually thinking of doing something a little different over here, which uh, would throw that off a little bit. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but uh, it's in reference to the uh, tram uh, tracks, actually. Uh, some of you were suggesting that rather than just have a single stop at one end, we do like a perimeter kind of... Uh, uh, the, have the tram go around all around the uh, the mall. That is something I'd considered, but we didn't. We don't have enough space here to actually allow that to happen. Like this is such a densely packed area uh, that I don't think we'd have enough room to to have the tram come up over here or even up over here or you know anywhere around it. I'd have to make quite a big buffer zone around the mall just for those tracks, and I didn't think that would be uh, an ideal use of the space. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's at least how I felt. So instead what I was thinking, and I have some updates to my thoughts from the end of last session. Last session I was thinking we'd have the tracks come up and have uh, the uh, the station be somewhere here. Now I'm kind of thinking we'll have the station maybe be somewhere right over here instead uh, and then have the tracks go on and have the depot up over here. I found it rather interesting that some of you uh, were thrown off by my suggestion of having the depot so close to the uh, mall itself. Um, I understand where that uh, reaction came from, but it's funny because I think about in Toronto we have quite a few spots where right next to a very densely packed area, right next to like uh, I, I can think of at least one major sort of hub that next that's next to a mall. Uh, we have quite densely packed areas that have these kinds of depots, like intermingled with, you know, just the rest of downtown living, I guess. So that's kind of what I had in mind for the depot. But I can totally place it somewhere a bit more remote. We can pop it down over here, uh, make sure that it doesn't um, 
Yeah, make sure that it doesn't get too much in the way of any connections. We could maybe pop it down over here and have it like bend like like this, basically have a little uh, L shape and, and hook up to the, the line down over here and it'll continue onwards uh, down, down the river. We could do something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm cool with that adjustment, of course. I am cool with that adjustment, but I do think we'll, uh, we'll instead of having the, the tracks up over here, then we'll have them up over here. And uh, I'm a little concerned, I'll be honest, about how we're going to make that transition happen for these tracks, because I guess we'd make a T-junction uh, that goes up there. I was almost wondering if we do like a roundabout, like a tram roundabout, uh, but it would be such a, such a messy execution. Throwing it out there, I would like to try and execute that today, but I'm throwing it out there as some thoughts in case we don't get to it today, because there are some other aspects that I want to take care of today as well. First of all, as it's been pointed out, this obviously cannot be built unless we have this one-way road connected, uh, and uh, evidently, fire trucks do obey, I guess rather I should say emergency vehicles do obey um, one-way rules, which is actually surprising to me, because uh, I'm pretty sure in the real world, as much as they try to, because you know, it, it, it provides some like uh, consistency or, or however you want to phrase it. Uh, it provides some expectations, I suppose, to the general public. Uh, I think if push comes to shove, emergency service vehicles have zero hesitation in um, using the quote unquote wrong, uh, like wrong way. Right. And and I think that's perfectly reasonable. I think that's perfectly fair because um, it's, an, it's an emergency vehicle. <laughs> uh, OK, this is going to be kind of funky. I thought I gave ourselves enough room over here. But maybe we did not. Maybe I didn't uh, extend this far enough. Maybe this needs to be raised a little bit. I don't know if it'll allow me to do that. Let's go ahead and uh, try for it. It's kind of funny. I've Now that I've added uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 into my rotation as well, and that's another game where there's like path building and stuff like that going on, it's just another set of controls that now come to mind when I'm, uh, when I'm doing stuff in this game. So that's why you're seeing me kind of like start to question <laughs> where I'm clicking sometimes. All right, let's hook this up. I will build our little extension down over here. I do think that's a good idea. I didn't see any opposition to that. So we'll, we'll get that going. Uh, I can back this up now. Yeah, we'll have parking over here. It'll make it a lot easier for workers to drive down over here once all this parking is set up. And by the way, um, I made reference to how daisy chaining parking lots gives people access to the car dealer. Um, okay, I, I don't know how to explain how this works. So the, the, from my understanding, anybody who is within range of a parking lot that can daisy chain or is otherwise within range to a car dealer will go and buy a car. That's how the game determines who is allowed to purchase a vehicle. It's got nothing to do with people already having cars uh, going to buy more cars. It's, I guess it's got to do with people having access to a parking lot going to buy a car to fill that parking lot. I guess that's how that works. At least that's how that used to work uh, several, several sessions ago now. I assume that's how it still works. Uh, unless I'm, I'm told otherwise. All right, so this is set up over here. These office buildings will look quite nice, I think. We'll get those going soon as well. But why don't we go ahead and uh, hit play as we continue to develop this like uh, waterfront area over here. And as we look into our nuclear power plant a little bit today as well, I'm hoping at least to get to that. I'm a little bit torn because there is a lot of stuff that's going on at the same time. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I would like to tackle at the same time. So I'm, I'm a little torn about uh, prioritizing because all the bare necessities are being met. Food and meat is 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 being delivered across the board clothes as well we're not having any struggle with clothes it looks like yeah electronics is the one thing that's kind of uh lacking but all the bare necessities uh at the, at the new city um are being delivered or met or however you want to phrase it so you know there's that and i wonder if it's time to turn our attention to some other things before we return to uh return to to to, to, to fulfilling some of their needs and, and 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 things like that i mean again the the extensions are still being built right like there are more buildings being built, and while that's happening, I wonder if I shouldn't turn my attention to something else, because it's been pointed out that the uh, nuclear plant having low production isn't a result of waste. I was actually misreading that, and I was uh, over... Uh, I, I was stressing out more about nuclear waste than I needed to back uh, in the previous session, and in reality, the reason why production is so low is because we don't have... Um, enough of a demand there's not enough of a draw and so there's not enough production or, or rather i should say not not enough production but uh, the production meets demand in the case of a, of, a, of a nuclear power plant and because there isn't enough demand the production doesn't need to be maximized uh with that said the trouble over here has been with uh, the distribution of power of course as you can see these guys are you know overwhelmed and that's why we're seeing the uh the flashing lights so we will try and hook the uh, nuclear plant up to the grid as well uh will that happen today we'll see we'll see like i said i'm i'm, I'm I, i'll be honest with you there's a lot of things that i want to prioritize and uh 
<laughs> maybe maybe there's a few too many things that I want to prioritize all at the same time. Uh, so we'll see how we how we go about it. Now over here, what are we missing here? Plastics. We're missing plastics. Okay, what's the deal down over here? Chemical plant, fabric. Where are my plastics? Here we go. Right. So we got about 94 tons of plastics in this warehouse. Where is... Oh, are we seriously doing this again? When did this happen? How did this happen? Did I just miss a notification earlier? All right, what, what's going on over here? I think we need to load more plastics on our way over to uh, the Baraharad warehouse. Because we're just not... Uh, I don't think we're bringing enough over to, uh, to, 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 to make electronics and things like that. So why don't we go ahead and turn you around. Actually have you going this way. And, and deliver some more plastics back there. And let's try and jumpstart our electronic... Uh, like electronics assembly hall and see what that does for us now before we hit play one last thing to check our population is looking fantastic 21 pluses are being taken care of slowly but surely as these buildings get done over here more will find new homes and this problem will be behind us happiness is looking fantastic uh, people are very satiated as well health is looking all right we could certainly improve that government loyalty is looking decent as well over 60 percent close to close to 70 ish percent it looks like so overall, things are looking pretty good, actually. Things are looking pretty good. And with that said, and on that note, let's uh, finally hit play, shall we? And see how things actually, uh, well, play out for lack of a better term. I swear that pun was unintended. Uh, do I actually get these things building as well? That's one thing I'm wondering is, do I want to start focusing on these a little bit? Uh, too, 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 too many moving parts, too many moving parts. So why don't we go ahead and deal with power first? Because we know power is... Uh, really bad right now and it should be relatively quick for us to handle it at least over here hooking up to the rest of the grid i'm going to tackle as a separate topic i suppose you could say uh but but it is something that i i, I will look to do um soon <laughs> soon let's say that you're gonna get even more overwhelmed as these guys get built aren't you i wonder if i need another um another uh power uh what's it called substation over here the funny thing is like I, again i am planning on establishing a warehouse somewhere up over here as well right to act as like a midpoint of delivery of goods that is something that's still on my mind adding another warehouse somewhere up over here with a distribution office of its own but i think that'll happen up over here i just want to keep the place the, rather the space free for that eventual development uh over here i suppose we could establish a, a like a power hub which just has a bunch of splitters because it, it's already what's kind of going on here i suppose so if we establish another split, we could establish another substation, maybe down over here or... Yeah, down over here works. It should have a decent bit of coverage across the board. We could establish over here as well. Like three substations right next to each other. It just feels a little funny, but it also feels necessary, right? Because, again, the substations aren't modded, but all these uh, buildings, of course, are. So their demands are higher than what the base game is expecting. So let's get another substation down, maybe over here. A lot of overlap. That's exactly what we want. We want those redundancies, right? We establish you like this. Pop you down. Of course, we will be paying for it, but that'll come shortly. Um, so yeah, you're fine over there. We'll go ahead and establish another... Where are we? Switch. Uh, over here, I suppose. We could do this kind of a thing. Well, no, let's do this kind of a thing. Because then we have... Yeah, that'll do the trick. Pop you down like that. Go ahead and get these wires going. Make sure we have the right voltage basically selected. Um, yep, yeah, go ahead and hook this up like so. Go ahead and hook this up like so. And then this guy can come down like so. Yeah, sure. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. I think that's... Oh, God, that's such a mess. I don't know why I can't like let myself... I don't know why I can't let go of these sometimes, you know? It's just like, I say I'll be fine, and then I actually see it and I go, Nah, that's not right. That ain't okay. Uh, that ain't right either. Let's go ahead and pull you back a little bit more. Oh, come on now. Too sharp of a turn. There we go. Beautiful. That's much better. Much better. Go ahead and pay for all that. Go ahead and pay for you and for you as well. And once these guys are all done, we went from, what, 144 to 128? I mean, it's better, right? It's better, so there's that. Not as many flashing lights over here anymore. A couple flashing lights up over here. And uh, up over here as well, it seems like. Well, what's the deal over here? I thought we have... Uh, hmm. Where are you getting your power from? Really? Only from these wind turbines, eh? Oh, okay. Well, that's that ain't right. I know we were bringing power in up over here somewhere. 
right up to here. So we should go ahead and split this up a couple of times, I suppose. We have this long line over here. So why don't we go ahead and uh, I suppose split it up where? Maybe somewhere up over here. Spread the love a little bit, send it down and over. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Just, just making a couple of adjustments over here. High voltage switch, no, I need a medium voltage switch, please and thank you. Uh, drop you down. Over here, we could we could make this little uh, hilltop into a into a, a power junction area as well, I suppose. Go ahead and put you down like that. Yeah, sure, we'll pay for it. And let's go ahead and put the uh, substation down where? Substation could go down right behind the school. Seems a little dangerous. It's very dangerous. I wish I could like hide those yellow lines while still having the uh, the building selected, you know? Um, what about up over here? That seems like a reasonable spot. Or over here? That seems like a reasonable spot as well. Can I build you to infrastructure? Guess it's not so reasonable. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Um, here? No, no, not over here. How about over here? Can't build too close to existing building. These footprints, man. All right, let's pop it down over here. Go for it, and, and yes, let's pay for it right off the bat. Medium voltage wires, make sure the highest medium voltage wires underground, of course. And where are we here? Pause for a second here as we cancel these wires. Go ahead and hook you up and you up into planning mode now because th these lines will most certainly not be straight. Go ahead and pull you down to there. Go ahead and... Oh, of course. Come on now. I actually saw an excellent mod that I'm very tempted to use, which is uh, it, it basically allows you to do underground pedestrian crossings uh, below buildings, or rather through buildings, I should say. It makes sense to me, honestly, because like, when I think about underground um, footpaths, underground passages like that, I, I think about, yeah, going underneath buildings, that's like kind of the point. Uh, so it's strange to me that the base game doesn't allow for that. So I'm, I'm very tempted to actually use that mod because I feel like it's a it's a fitting mod, but it's, it's basically a, a, a building that doesn't have any footprint that you can place anywhere and has an in point and an out point for uh, for pedestrians uh, for pedestrian like crosswalks basically and you can tell them where they can basically pass through buildings it would save us a lot of headache it would uh, also be realistic I think that's something I do try to keep out keep an eye out for as well of course when I use mods is like I want to try and make sure that they are reasonable mods they don't break the game and I do feel like that's that's a reasonable one let's go ahead and pay for you I, I did realize by the way that I have another switch up over there but that'll be for like going further out up over here or something if if need be if need be i'm hoping hoping this will give us some decent uh, power coverage over here though oh my god <laughs> it's like a little mole coming through let's see what are we looking at here 27 percent i mean the only reason we had the uh, the flickering over here is because of the reliance on the wind turbines which weren't necessarily po providing consistent power so this connection should help uh we'll need more down over here of course eventually 148 percent weren't we just at 120 something what happened there? 137 for you, 128 for you. Okay, of course, they have different spreads. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, where are our... This guy's at 59%, so that's good. There's, there's not a dedicated... Um, I guess not. There's not a dedicated substation over here of oh, this guy. What are we at? 68%. Yeah, see, these guys are doing all right. It's, it's, it's these densely packed uh, buildings that are obviously problematic. And that's fine. That's to be expected, right? That's to be expected. I could put another switch down over there, and we could establish another substation um, somewhere over here, I suppose, right? Eventually, we'll have to go deeper into this uh, into this uh, pit of skyscrapers. I don't know if, if it, it might be too soon still. Um, where could I put down a little back road over here? Or could I put this down over here, maybe? It, like, fire access... Like, firefighter access to it isn't the most essential thing, but I should probably include it. Should probably consider it, rather, I should say. Pop you down over here like so. Because I think that works nicely, right? I have a nice little, like, corner over here. I was going to put down, like, playgrounds and stuff, but th this, this works fine, I think. I don't think it's a bad idea. Let's go ahead and establish this guy over here. Take a look at our layout here. Um, maybe do this kind of a thing, or this kind of a thing. Sure, this kind of a thing. Let's pop you down over there. Go ahead and get rid of these guys. 
connect you like so, connect you like so. And then let's see, we'll go ahead and pull this guy down like this. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Pull you down like that maybe. Send you over like this. And hook you up like that. Cool, that should do the trick. I mean, when I say that should do the trick, I mean it'll give us the connection. I don't mean it'll actually solve our power problem because I in fact highly doubt it'll solve our power problem. Oh, we are at 106% over here right now. So that's promising. This guy is at 112%. This is at like maximum consumption. So it doesn't have to be extremely low. I, I find it doesn't have to be at 100% or you know sub 100%, but it has to be, um, it, it, it can't be like 200%, you know, it, it has to be a reasonable amount over 100%. And then I find it's it's sustainable enough, at least from 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 my experience thus far. Uh, these buildings are all coming through looking pretty good looking pretty good. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Over here. What are we missing? Uh, nothing just uh, making progress. It'll take some time. Obviously, we need prefab panels and stuff coming through still. All right, looking good. You know what I do need to do, though, as it's been pointed out in the comments a couple times, and especially so in the comments of the previous session, is that we need to resume the upgrading of the fleet over here. The problem is that every time I go to actually do it, these guys are busy doing something else. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. We might... Oh, yes, okay. Looks like we have an opportunity here. You're going to the unfinished road. You know what? I'm going to sell these guys. I'm going to sell these road vehicles, and we're going to replace them with... Uh, with these guys, with these new, uh, newfangled, um, significantly more capable covered road vehicles. Let's do it. Uh, yes, I'll, I will sacrifice a quarter ton of electronics, electronic components, I should say, rather. Sell you, let's go, let's go, let's go, and let's go, please, and thank you. We will need one, two, three, and four. Excellent road trains. Go ahead and move these guys over right now. Again, anything to like help speed it all up. Because one of the big things that's slowing our construction down is, yes, the distance of the construction offices uh, from the actual construction sites. Uh, and not just the construction offices, but also where they get their resources from. Of course, the offices themselves are close to those resources. But if we move one, we'll have to move the other. But that's only one, I would say, third, or I would say that's two thirds of what's slowing down the, uh, the the construction. The other thing is, of course, the lack of uh, uh, the, the 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 reduced quantity of goods being delivered per delivery. Let's put it that way, I suppose. So this should help alleviate some of that pain at least a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, I could also build not more road trains, but perhaps we build some more um, open hull Kamaz 5460s, right? Because they can help move steel boards, prefab panels, all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and actually cancel this current production and get some more of these guys out next. And we'll see if we can't do a similar kind of uh, upgrade to, to one of these construction offices. Uh, what about uh, this guy up over here? What are your covered hulls doing right now? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, great. Oh, this guy's moving. You know what? We'll sacrifice it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. And good stuff. I don't think we have uh, enough. Oh, we do. One two, three, and four to replace the four we just covered it. So one, come on now, two, three, and four. There we go. Beauty. That should help. That should help. We, we, again, we need to upgrade more than just the one type of vehicle. Of course, these guys are still using the older buses. They're still using the older uh, open hull vehicles. There's a lot of upgrading that still can be done, but slowly but surely we'll get there again, right? We are now manufacturing some of those open hull uh, vehicles, for example. So it'll, 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 it'll all get done. It'll all get done in due time. Looks like we have enough plastics over here now to actually produce some electronics. Electronics are being stored over here. What's the deal over here? These guys do not need electronics. So we're topped up over here. We should not be draining any electronics, so that's good. Uh, we just need to ensure enough of a surplus that the electronics actually get distributed further than just, you know, Krasna. Uh, and it's been pointed out, by the way, that yes, electronics is generically covering all of our electronics. So it does include the radio, the TV, and the computer as well. I, would, I wouldn't I would mind seeing it get split up into the three different uh, types of electronics. I think that'd be quite neat, actually. But it's not an urgent priority by any means, I don't think. Missing some steel here. Are we actually missing steel or is it just a matter of delivery, right? Because again, I think it's just a matter of delivery. And hopefully, hopefully, 
will be behind this um, issue soon as we get some of those open hull uh, vehicles established, right? What are you guys actually working on? You are involved in some things. Not... Uh, yeah, okay, okay. These guys are getting involved in all this stuff, so that's good. That's good. All right. Um, now, one more thing to touch on, actually, with regards to this huge mall. It's been pointed out that uh, it would have been a good idea maybe to include a warehouse to actually store stuff for this mall as things kind of get, you know, as it... Uh, as things get purchased, it would make sense to have a, a readily available stock of goods to, to keep delivering to this mall. Um, what I was thinking was that because the mall is actually so big with 500 tons of food, 500 tons of clothes, 350 tons of electronics and 25 tons of meat, it kind of acts as a self-sustaining building. Um, I don't think we'll be that quick to run out of 500 tons of food. And if we have our distribution offices set to the right numbers, then, you know, at the lowest point, we'll only ever see it come down to 100 tons of food. You know what I mean? So it kind of has that self-sustaining quality to it where it doesn't need a warehouse because it has its own storage units and stuff like that built into it. That's kind of how I see it, which is why I didn't bother with establishing a warehouse for it. All right. Uh... What? Okay, well, I kinda, I'm kind of waiting for, like, nightfall to come so I can see what the deal is with uh, regards to the power uh, situation over here. But as I'm waiting for that, I suppose I could establish a high-voltage connection out to here. Um, now, I'm a little concerned about how this will play out. Where is our big sort of junction over here? Um, I know we have one. I know we have a, like a nest of wire somewhere there we go <laughs> like i know it exists where does it exist how do i and can i combine like can i bring power in from the nuclear power plant and the coal power plants eventually i would like to shut down the coal power plants yes but can i use one of these to combine high voltage power from multiple sources because of course this is a switch um, so in, in theory, in theory, I should be able to, uh, to do something here. Where, where else is the power coming from? Let's see, all the way up over here. Well, this is coming from across the, uh, the, the river, which we'll, we'll want to go to party power as well. But down over here, let me just check here. So we've got high voltage power going out this way, hooking up to this guy over here and then being spread around right so if i bring high voltage power from the nuclear power plant all the way down to here and like basically use one of these um these switches to have two inputs like this let's say and that goes into one um transformer will that draw power i assume it will draw power from both uh you know sets of lines that are coming through right that that, that makes sense to me uh, that makes that makes sense to me, right? That makes sense. I think that makes sense. Uh, but let's not worry about down there first. Let's worry about up over here first. So we have this transformer. Where is this power coming from? Okay, you know what's happening over here. This guy is bringing power from the coal power plants, right? Yeah, coming from the coal power plants, which are pushing it over to here, and that's pushing up like this, up like this up like this and then it's going over to here and it's splitting out and being distributed to Brixtonia and Zavatsk and everything else uh, or so or so I understand so if I were to do something like this I think we'd be okay if I were to flatten this right because what we would do is um, come on now flatten that pop you down right now just planning we would have the high voltage where is it 10, 13, 15, 18. I'm pretty sure 18 is the highest. Yeah, we'd have this hook up to that. This would hook up to this. And then over here, we would have our uh, our nuclear plants um, connection come through. There are high voltage underground wires. They go up to 12 megawatts, but I don't think that's enough. We're sacrificing six, basically, uh, which doesn't make any sense to me. But how would I make this attractively connect, right? We want to make this look good. So I can pull it straight out over to here. I could take it across like this, I suppose. How does that actually look? Yeah, okay, we can do that. Uh, keep it going, then pull it down like this over to... Where am I trying to get to? Where am I trying to get to? 
uh, here. Okay, you know, actually, that's not that bad. Not that bad. We're not that far off. Highways will often have these kinds of uh, cables and stuff, you know, near them. You'll be able to see them often. So, okay, why don't we try this? Why don't we try this? Go ahead and pull you over to um, here. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. Go ahead and pull you down to... How far can we go? Mm, let's see. Where's our highway? This is our highway, right? So let's uh, let's do let's do this down to. Oh man, I can barely see the green. I'm trying to figure out the right spot here. Thought I saw a sweet spot over here somewhere. Why don't we try over to here, like so? So we have those coming through. I mean, is it? It's not the cleanest. It's a little bit further to the right than I would like it to be. I would like it to be right in the middle, but I think I'm asking for too much there. Probably asking for too much, right? I'm probably asking for too much. Go ahead and try it anyway. Let's see. I'm sure we can do this. I'm sure we can pull this off. There we go. That's well, looking much better. Yeah, that looks much better. All right, cool. So that's that. And then, and then what? And then we could, I mean, I could pull straight down, right? And go like this instead. Where do we need to hook up again? Over here. All right. So uh, ideally, ideally this line would come down like this, which it can do, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it, it, it can. We'll just have to like snake it a little bit. So how do we get over to there though? Pretty sure, pretty sure. Come on, you're telling me these wires can't go over this tiny little building? Come on now. Come on now. Uh, I guess not. All right, fair enough. We'll have to dance around it a little bit. Pull you over to here. As I do that, we need to build some more build. We need to plant some more trees over there as well. Looks like we do have a little bit of uh, a rave going on over here, unfortunately, still. So it looks like 106% and 100% and 120% and... What do we have over here? 112% isn't enough. That just means we need one more, um, uh, what's it called, substation over here. We're close enough, I think. We're close enough for this block, potentially. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see, but let's, uh, let's, let's come back here and stay, stay at least somewhat focused. I'm, I'm, I'm close to at least connecting one of these uh, things up, right? So why don't we go ahead and do that? Pull you down to here. Come on now, there we go. Perfect timing for that autosave. Go ahead and scoot you down. Like so. Let's see. Come on now. Like so. Goes over these tracks. Goes right next to the highway. Goes over the highway as well, actually. And then this can come down and hook up over here. Well, can we actually make it look a little bit neater? I think so. Bring you down to there. Hook you up like that. Excellent. Then we'll go ahead. All right. So moment of truth, I suppose. Get rid of this. Go ahead and hook this up to here and hook this up to here and then go ahead and pay for all this uh, pay for this as well right because we want to make sure that connection actually happens now this guy is getting 6.008 megawatts if I'm not mistaken that should go up at least a little bit I do believe this keeps a track based on the draw of power so unless there is uh, an increased draw we're not actually going to see it the other thing we can take a look at I suppose would be the plant itself um, I suppose the production percentage would go up a little bit uh, as an indication of at least some increased draw unless the, again the coal power plants are still providing some power so we might not see any change over here uh, just quite yet we'll we'll see let's we'll see I, in theory this should work in theory this should work 6.056 well it's dropping now see the uh Large cables are still being built. Yeah, you can see them off in the distance. They're being built <laughs> It's like it's almost like uh, like watching jaws over here very ominous Connection happens Five point. Oh, we went up from four point something. So there's that six point one Yeah, again, it's a matter of draw, right? So there might not be any extra draw coming through But I I, I, I do think we are sending more power through. I could try at this point, what I could do is I could shut these coal power plants off. 
well, not entirely, because while this is providing power up over here, I don't know if it's actually providing power down this way as well. In, in theory, it should be, right? In theory, it should be providing power right down to here and then passing it on this way. Uh, and so on and so forth. Oh boy. We could try shutting this coal power plant off and, and, and seeing what happens. Sure. Wow, let's try it. Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? Let's take a look at this guy over here who is receiving some electricity, right? We're seeing power come through. We're going to go ahead and shut you off over here. Um, shut you off. There we go. Production is dead. You are... Not receiving power anymore. <laughs> no, you're still getting some power. And some fluctuation over here. It does seem reduced, but there is still power coming through. I can only assume it's coming through these lines over here, right? This guy is seeing how much? Still seeing 6.2. And the only source of power for this guy is through these lines over here that come directly from here which otherwise only has a connection to our coal power plant. So I do believe, I do believe the nuclear uh, power plant has taken over for this coal power plant. And all of a sudden all these electricity problem signs pop up. Well, that's because these guys are only getting power, I think from that one coal power plant, right? And from, from, from nothing else, like there's no draw. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and, and get this up and running again. Just in the meanwhile, until we're able to get all of the uh, nuclear power uh, connected properly throughout the nation. But that was a test, and the test seems to have passed. It seems that we are able to uh, hook things up like this. The question is, do we want to, or do we want to go full nuclear and get rid of those coal power plants? Because really, at this stage in the game, uh, the nuclear power plant is way overpowers the coal power plants, right? Like, the, the power it generates is just through the roof by comparison. We wouldn't need those coal power plants anymore. And it is tempting to just shut them all down. The only difficulty would be making the uh, the, the connections. Would it be that difficult, though? Because from here, you know, in theory, we're bringing power down from the nuclear power plant to here, right? So rather than connecting this to the coal power plant, we could have this come down and hook up to, um, like, this instead. Well, that'll go out that way. Hook up to what instead? Where Where are these guys getting their power from? Where, how have I how have I designed this? Have I designed this? <laughs> That's the real question. There we go. It would hook up to here. And that would take care of all these guys. I think, right? Yeah, because it goes down there. It goes up over here. It would take care of quite a few of these guys, at least. So, all right. Um, oh, geez, I mean, I guess let's try it. Whoa, no, 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 no. Don't demolish the building. <laughs> we might still need it. We might still need it. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's go for the uh, cancel wires. Get rid of this guy over here. Get rid of this guy over here as well. Right, and then what we would do is we would go ahead and hook this guy uh, up to that. Can we? We can. It's just a matter of finding our, our angles here. Not the neatest. We'll have to put some more trees down. But that should now bring power down this way. Over to here, over to here, over to this thing. Yeah, we're getting power over here. That's looking good. It has a high voltage switch. Where, where are our outputs? <laughs> this is such a crow's nest, isn't it? This comes out this way, goes down this way, goes all the way around, comes to here where we are getting power. It is being spread out. These guys are all still getting power. Yes, they are operating without any issue. Looking good, yeah, looks like that's uh, all the mining there done, and we could actually shut this guy off now. Um, where is our nuclear power plant? That production percentage has certainly gone up, right? It was like down to here previously, so that's definitely gone up. So that's, 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 yeah, holy crap, we're doing it. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're doing it, we're doing it. All right, uh, what else, though? From here... If I establish another switch, we could bring power further down as well. Are we overwhelming this one line, though? Are we drawing its maximum capacity? Maybe not just yet. Maybe not just yet. Let's see, you're doing that, you're doing that. Uh, we could get rid of this and make this a more direct connection. Because these, these are smaller wires, though I think they have to be, right? Because of the uh, how densely packed this space is. 
Okay, let's leave it at this for now. I'll just step away for a moment because we have made some progress there, which is promising to look at. I just want to check on how this stuff is going. Looking good, looking good. We have all the resources we need. It is just a matter of time over here. These guys are missing some prefab panels. That's okay, not the end of the world. Oh, looks like the school is done over here. No power supply. And this kindergarten is done as well, but no power supply. Okay, we'll have to take a look at that sooner rather than later, I think. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, oh no. Okay, seems we have lost power to this guy here. Buildings without power supply because you get your power directly from this guy. Okay, that's why. Uh, all right, okay, okay, okay. Not a problem, not a problem. Uh, not a problem. We just need to turn this guy back on for now because what we'll need to do is we'll need to basically uh, have another... Um, well, you know what we could do instead is we could get this guy hooked up instead. Pull, pull these lines back and, and hook them up over here. Yeah, sure, why don't we do that? I'm going to try and turn this coal power plant off today. I want to try and turn this one off today, all right? Let's see what we can do. So if I pull this back, right? Where do you go? Down to there. Go ahead and pull you back. All right, there we go. Go ahead and bring this up to here. Over to here. Come on now. And then over to here, right? Let's go ahead and build that. Let's put some trees down as well because it's starting to look really hideous over here. There we go. There we go. Much nicer already. Not even not even fully grown. It's already much nicer. So let's go ahead and build that. And that will bring power back to all of these, yes, trolley buses. Excellent. Because again, now we're getting power from the nuclear power plant down here as well, right? If I could, where's my nuclear power plant? There it is. Way off in the distance there. Can't even click it, but you can see it. There we go. Looking all right. Operating without issues. Let's hopefully keep that up. Things are looking okay. Wow. Yeah, this uh, this coal power plant might be a vestige of the past soon. Kind of wild to think about. Kind of wild to think about. But the reason why I was scrolling over to here was because I wanted to take a look at these guys. We got three of them, right? All right, cool. Two and three. Go and just keep these guys aside for now. Really quickly take a look at our electronics situation. Still looking all right. Hopefully we are seeing some distribution as well. What's the deal over here? No electronics over here. Um, is this where electronics are supposed to be deposited? I, I assume yes. I assume yes. Um, what are these guys doing over here? Oh, yeah, looks like we just got some electronics uh, dropped off over here, actually. Okay, good. So that's operating. I mean, is it optimal right now? No, not necessarily, but we'll at least we're seeing some numbers moving, you know. Uh, over here, let's go ahead and get rid of... Okay, let's first of all move these guys over to here so they're a bit separated. So I know I'm looking at the right thing when I'm looking at it. Where are our open hulls? Because these guys are open hulls, right? Yeah, open hull. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure I didn't swap the wrong vehicle out for the wrong thing again. You are headed to the Uprising Grad Road cargo station. Are you anywhere nearby it? No, you're not. You're still close to here. So let's go ahead and get rid of you. Um, open hull. Where are you? You're headed back to the road cargo station. Let's get rid of you. Where are you at? You are headed to... Okay, weird. Don't know what this guy's up to. But he's gone as well. And this guy, where are you? Back here, excellent. Let's get rid of you as well. Cool, so let's go ahead and get these guys making their way over. Be able to deliver significantly more materials in one, uh, in, in, in one drive, basically. And where is our fourth? Do we have it ready yet? Not just yet. Very close to it, very close to it. Maybe we'll just kind of hang around for a little bit and, and, and wait for this guy to get done. So we have this one construction office, at least, with its upgraded uh, covered hull and open hull uh, vehicles. It has new buses as well, actually. So this, this construction office is fairly well upgraded. We still have some old dumpers and, 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 and cement mixers and stuff, for sure, yes. Uh, but at least we're, we're seeing you know some upgrades come through and, and, and get done. What are we looking at here? This guy's almost done. Very close, actually. Oh, we're very close. We're actually going to see this one get done. We have a lot of choppers. This is like a war zone. <laughs> we have a lot of choppers. But yeah, there we go. Immediately filling up over here. Watch the 21 pluses 
trickle down. Obviously, we had to cross that 2K threshold first, but uh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Not bad, not bad. All university educated. Well, not all. Oh, actually, you know what? I think, yeah, all university educated over here. Cool. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, we'll have to make sure their needs are all met and stuff as well. These guys, how far away are we from completing? All right. This one still has a fair bit to go, but we're, we're staying on top of things. Things are looking a lot better now than they were in the uh, very recent past, actually. Very, very recent past. All right. Where is... There he is. Hey, buddy. I go ahead and move you over to this huge construction office down over here. And that's this one done. Excellent. And we'll uh, we'll upgrade uh, this one next with its uh, open open hull vehicles, right? Uh, all right. What else? What else? What else? I got to figure out the hookup to turn this coal power plant off. God damn it! I meant to zoom in on it. <laughs> Oops. It's fine. Actually, one thing before we zoom away from here. What's the deal? with this stadium is it getting any love is it seeing any action because we we established the footpath connections um rather meticulously and then i don't know if it's actually seeing any love all right let's let's deal with this once and for all hopefully do i need another connection over here like uh, have I, have I made the mistake of, of overwhelming this one line? Because that's very possible, right? We're drawing a lot from one uh, one line over here, and maybe we don't actually have enough. Maybe we don't actually have enough. Um, in which case, what I would do is I would probably... Let me see. So these guys are flashing right now, right? Yeah, they're all flashing right now. So what happens if I pause for a second here and cancel this wire? Right, we'll maybe connect it elsewhere later. Um, pull this guy up like so. Well, let's go into planning here. Pull this guy up. And we're going to connect him to this guy. Well, maybe, 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 maybe not exactly. Maybe what we'll do instead is we'll go ahead and cancel. Yeah, cancel this guy over here like that. Go ahead and hook you up like so. Can we get a better curve here? No, we can't. Of course not. Pull you out a bit. Hook you up like that. All right, great. Then hook this guy up like that. Pull you over to here. And that maybe will help. Let's go ahead and pay for all that. So what I'm, I'm thinking is maybe I'm overwhelming this one line, basically. And that's why we're seeing all this flashing apart from... Yeah, sure, we are drawing over 100%. Um, but uh, but I wonder if it's more than just uh, just that. So let's see. All right, let's see what the deal is now. That's gonna get built. I think it's been built. Still being built? Mm, no, it looks like it's. Wait, what's going on over here? Yeah, there we go. So that's all done. And now we no longer have any flashing. All right, looks like that's what was going on. I I I, I knew that like going a little over 100% is not the end of the world. Like, I, I, we've done it before, right? So I was like, no, nah, it shouldn't be that bad. But it lo d does look like the flashing is done now, and it is because we were overwhelming, yeah, that one line. Fair enough. So that's what I got to keep an eye out for, uh, even as I do, uh, you know, some of the stuff down over there as I upgrade to our uh, nuclear power uh, facilities. I just got to keep an eye out for that. And these guys will need some power. Oh, where, where, where all do we have raving? We've got raving up over here, <laughs> up over here. Oh, wow. That's a real party. Oh, my God, the airport. All right. Okay. Okay. Good notes. Good notes. I mean, the airport. I wonder if we can't pull uh, pull a line out from over here, right? Straight out to the airport. Where Where is actually the um? There it is. And where is it pulling its uh, power from? I assume directly from. Oh wait. Actually, no. Yeah. There is. There are a couple of splits over here. So it's it's possible that the uh, the airport's just not. Uh, Getting enough power, I suppose. Maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for it maybe when the, uh, the sun sets again because that was a lot of flickering. That was a tremendous amount of flickering. A little, a little concerning. Um, but all right, all right, all right. We got this figured out at least. We got that figured out. A real, uh, real, real, real powerful session, this one, isn't it? All right. Let's see. If I establish... I'm trying to figure this out here, folks. 
if I get this guy down like so. Oh, hell, let's try it. Right, let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? Get rid of this wire. Get our high voltage switch down. Over. Come on now. Come on now. Here. Get this guy hooking up like that. Well, you up like so. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, then can we cancel this guy? Bring this guy out like that. And hook this guy up like... Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. Like, it's like, it'll literally come over to here, but not if I already have something else to hook up to. Fair enough. Have it your way. I think that's fine. Is that fine? I can't tell. It's, it makes it look like it's two different wires. Why would it do that? I don't know. Let's go ahead and try that again. Pull you down to here. And then from you over to here. Okay, let's, let's let it build and, and see what comes of it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it does ultimately combine. All right, fair enough. So that's coming through here now. And over to here, we have power coming through. Yeah, okay, excellent. And it does look to be quite fine in terms of quantity as well. So that's promising. I could have another split happening somewhere down over here to uh, hook up to this line over here. Right, which then goes on to hook up to there. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, why don't we go ahead and do exactly that over to our high voltage switch. Turn you around like this I suppose yeah that's what we'll do so let's go ahead and cancel you oh that's kind of weird very weird um go ahead I hope I didn't break anything pop you down like this this these wires are in the way I guess that's fine something that will pop you down like this over here flatten this terrain there we go wait that was a mistake because I gotta actually flip it around Pop it down like this instead. Yep. And then go ahead and establish this connection over to you. Go ahead and cancel these wires like so. Pull you back as well, buddy. Go ahead and bring this over to this. Yeah, fair enough. And this guy will hook up to that. Cool. Let's go ahead and put some trees down as well. Because this is going to start looking real nasty otherwise. Go ahead and put a bunch of trees down. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Again, we'll have to worry less about pollution as we turn these uh, coal power plants off, though, right? So there's that silver lining, of course. Uh, but that should do the trick. This guy will get built, right? You're being built. Yes, you are. You've been built. Okay, great. So if we look down over here, we have power coming through. Yes. Up over here, we still have power coming through, though it's only... 3.2 or 2.5 now it was 7 point something earlier wasn't it so have we gone ahead and drawn too much from uh from this guy again right and do we have to pull a separate line down we might need to and if we do then that's fine it's not impossible or anything like that i'm not too concerned about that we are still using this coal power plant though right because you can see this one single line coming down over here and hooking up to this so this is still uh drawing some power which is fine for now we can we can shut it off later we can shut it off later. God damn. Dog's breakfast, crow's nest, whatever you want to call it. It is a hot mess. It is a hot mess. Where is this guy going? Are you still getting power? You are still getting power. Where from, though? Because you're connected to this coal power plant. Oh, this coal power plant, not this one. Okay, fair, 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 fair. So there are a couple of other connections that we'll need to uh, sort of re-hook up, I suppose, if we want to shut this one down. Because there's, there's quite a few... Uh, blocks that are reliant on power from this coal power plant still which is fine it's not the end of the world not the end of the world uh, it'll just take some time to adjust it all yeah, i hope we haven't overdone it I'm, I'm not worried about the production of power i'm worried about the uh lo the load on the line uh that's what i'm concerned about all right what are we looking at over here these guys are both done this guy is almost done prefab panels are missing okay fair enough let's take a look at well hold on that's not the way to do it let's pull back to here Let's take a look at vehicles that are headed to this building. We are looking for a... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Coming through with 14 tons. That's what I'm talking about. We need how much? We need, oh my god, 166 tons, ultimately. It'll, it'll, it'll still take some time. It'll still take some time. Do we have any of the uh, bigger vehicles coming through yet? 
5 for 10, 5 for 10. Oh. Why, why would you only load 7%? Load 100%. Get your 36 tons of, uh, of prefab panels. Looks like he's already made a delivery, so at least there's that. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, look. This car. Oh, look. Electricity problem. Where we didn't used to have one before. Mm, I haven't seen... I haven't seen this come up before. All right, building is without power up over here. Oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> this building's without power as well. Where were you getting power from previously? Up over here. Okay, looks like we did... Uh, we maybe put a little bit too much pressure on uh, on this guy over here. So why don't we go ahead and, uh, and pull back on that? Because what I'll need to do is kind of course correct pull you down here connect you over like that go ahead and pay for it hook this guy back up come on now there we go power's coming through much better okay good um <laughs> oops so what we'll need to do is we we'll need to pull a separate line we might come down the same way but basically separate over here instead and then like come down you know, down this line or something like that and, and, and create another hub over here where power gets transferred over. But I think that will save for, for some other time. I'm, I'm happy we got to turn this coal power plant off, though. I mean, damn, this, uh, this guy's been around for a very long time. Not our oldest coal power plant, not our oldest, but it is one of the older ones. It, without this coal power plant and the one that's right next to it, it we would never have had uh, this part of the, uh, the nation develop, right? This was an essential uh, power plant, so it is quite interesting to see it... Uh, decommissioned oh oh man yeah we've shut it off it's been off for a while we haven't seen any issues come out of it this is the one that uh is is still being relied on but that's that's fine that's fine one at a time right one at a time one at a time this is pretty cool all right cool very uh, again kind of strange right uh but this 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 has been a fairly i would say productive session Ooh, electricity trouble over here what's going on Building is without power supply. Where are we coming from over here? Uh, up this way. Where are you hooked up to? Up this way, up this way. And it goes up to here. This guy's getting power from over here. All right, so what's happening? So that's telling me that we are maybe not... Uh, maybe maybe we, were, we were overwhelming it before I even realized we were overwhelming it. Because production's not an issue. Production's not an issue. I think the issue is these smaller... Um, smaller wires trying to bring down so much power right uh, unfortunately though as i was saying earlier we cannot really have larger uh cables come through here because of the sheer size and the density of this area so we might need to reconsider how we've done this not the end of the world yet i'm just trying to figure out what might be a better way to go about it though uh, but as i was saying i mean it's it's kind of strange like it feels like not much has happened it, like visually maybe it doesn't look like we built a whole new you know neighborhood or anything like that but we have reworked quite a bit of uh of the nation's uh uh integral elements really kind of uh, kind of wild <laughs> it is kind of wild uh this guy over here how much power do you transfer actually which one is it is it this guy 15 megawatts damn Still more than this 12 megawatt uh, underground set of wires. Trying to figure out the best way to go about this. If I use this to instead split and come over this way, we could go down this way, I suppose. It's not the neatest looking thing. Yeah, it really is a matter of, of trying to like snake in through here. Let's see if I cancel these wires. I'm going to have to experiment with this a little bit, I think, uh, between sessions just to see exactly how we can maybe get this power uh, coming through. Because I do think the issue is this guy over here. Again, we're going from transferring 18 megawatts to transferring 15 megawatts, right? And that's not an insignificant drop. So that's three less megawatts coming through to this, which is trying to then feed, you know, two giant um, uh, cities, really, I guess, based on the game's, uh, like, description of them and some of the uh activity at petrograd so that's a lot of stress for uh what 15 megawatts we're definitely having some trouble up over here we're gonna have to rework this 
and this connection down over here. This all in theory is working though. So the theoretical test has worked out. It's just a matter of the number crunching now. So we'll figure that out as some of this construction is going on, folks. Uh, I think that'll be maybe our, what do you guys think? You, you guys let me know. Should that power stuff be the focus of our next session as well, which will kind of mean two back-to-back -back episodes focusing on power, uh, or would you rather we come back over here and start developing this uh, waterfront a bit more next session? Maybe we do that. Maybe next session we come and we, we get this, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, tram connection over here. We get this uh, lake, uh, like riverfront, waterfront area done as well. That'll be our next session. And the session after that, we go back to dealing with some of the power stuff. And that way we kind of alternate back and forth and take care of multiple issues at the same time, rather than focus on one thing and let others go by the wayside. I, I feel like that's a reasonable uh, approach. I feel like that's a, a, a fair way of going about it. But uh, again, as always, I look to you guys for your feedback and your opinions, uh, because I do try to take them all into consideration when I'm making decisions for uh, for the channel and for all the content on the channel. These numbers are still not looking all that great. I'm curious as to why sport isn't being taken care of. We'll take a look at that as well next session, maybe as we're taking care of the uh, waterfront areas and all that. But uh, again, that's all, I suppose, uh, for next time and beyond. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment, as always. makes a massive difference in just, you know, how I approach content on the channel. Again, a quick reminder, if you've been really enjoying this series, uh, I humbly request that you maybe check out the channel Patreon, uh, or you consider becoming a channel member. Again, both linked in the description down below. On that note, a... Massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, Das Vidanya. <laughs>